What's up guys? Today we're gonna clean a pair of boots I was just given um, from a friend. He no longer wears these 1907s. I guess he just doesn't want to resold them but they're not too bad. Um, so uh, yeah let's go ahead and clean this up. I've already sprayed them with some disinfectant in and out because they're not my shoes um, and here are my 1907s of my own still in great condition keep them clean brushed every time I use them original uh, Red Wings insole in there uh, let's see what he has in here he has some cheap insole here so get rid of this his is all eaten up these are not the leather insoles like that definitely not um, so does he have the leather insoles inside of here no he doesn't those are just the regular insides so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, clean them with saddle soap and um, oil them up. Looks like he's already put a good amount of oil on these already. And uh, let's clean the insides too. I think I need to spray the insides now too since I took those insoles out um, with disinfectant. What I'm using for disinfectant is I don't have the the bowling alley uh, shoe uh, disinfectant I use the clipper clipper uh, and this uh, uh, disinfectant sprays for your hair hair clippers instead um, it's got a little oil and disinfectant in it so um, hopefully that won't uh, be uh, damaging the leather because I am both spraying both in and out of these but um, I don't know much how much damage you can do to this uh, heritage leather. It's uh, good quality stuff and thick, so um, I'm going to be saddle soaping it anyways. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and clean these up. All right, so here's what I got for cleaning. I got the generic uh, Walmart brand um, magic eraser here, the Great Value Cleaning Eraser. Got some. Red Wing Saddle Soap and a nice uh, brush for it. So, let's start off with cleaning the soles. I already have the soles sitting in some water. So, you want to go ahead and wet that. And uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get some of this build up off of the sole, the traction tread, which have been eaten up. Look at his uh, side, his step. So these shoes on the label are from August 2009. So that's 11 years old. It doesn't look like he ever uh, changed the soles on these and it doesn't even look like I'm gonna get these any cleaner than they were maybe I'm not using this magic eraser stuff right is it supposed to just eat away Here's the bottom of this one too. Let's see if we could get that blue out of there at least. It's not coming out. Oh well. So this might be a waste of time. Maybe I should use toothpaste. Toothbrush and toothpaste could do the work 
for this kind of stuff but it really looks like these need a, a resole anyway so um, I'm not even gonna bother anymore I wasted that magic eraser so on with the show let's uh, soak these up a little good and uh, brush some of this stuff out Yeah, there was like a push button it says push press right here to open for easy open of these things here's some saddle soap Let's get that nice and frothy clean last time I cleaned my rovers over the sink and some of you guys uh wrote in the comments like ew why are you guys doing that why was this guy cleaning his shoes on the sink in the on the kitchen sink so here i go cleaning in the garage to not offend anybody i don't know why it offended anybody it's not like they're eating in my house anyways and uh i do clean very well i'm cleaning shoes so how do you think I'm, I manage my own house? How many people actually take the time and effort to go into cleaning shoes, you know? So, whatever. So I'm going to be pretty liberal with this stuff on this. Get that rough and tough leather back to fresh and get his all this old um, boot oil off of this shoe maybe I'll even saddle soap the insides I don't know I did disinfect that means I'd have to rinse these out in the bathroom so here's boot number two and I forgot to actually brush the leather on these oh well I forgot to brush it before I actually washed it and get some of our dirt off and whatnot he's got some paint paint stains right here Let's see if we could knock some of that out Probably go to the Red Wing store and get some insoles for this, the leather insoles and some shoelaces, the leather shoelaces. Maybe they'll still give it for free, I don't know. The insoles I probably have to pay for though. So let's just double up the cleaning on the other one now too. I think I'm going to go inside and rinse these in the bathroom afterwards. Get a good wash on them. Get the whole shoe wet. These are not my purchase anyway, so might as well try to get them as clean and sanitary as possible. Looks like the wa the shoes are still waterproof. Um, doesn't look like any any water is going in seeping through the Goodyear. These are triple stitch Goodyear welted, um, 1907. So you got a good quality shoe right here. And knew these are. I think they're hitting 300. When my wife gave me my pair of 1907s, I think I only paid 220. They were on sale like during Christmas time after Thanksgiving sale, which they usually never go on sale, uh, Heritage. And I was able to get them then. I think 
my 1907s were a birthday present, not Christmas present for my wife. That was a couple of years back now. Because uh, my 1907s are from, were produced in 2016, I, I believe. They have the, the tag on the tongue, not on the side. You know what? Let's go ahead and go ahead and sh saddle soak the inside of the leather too. Might as well just clean everything up, and I will go rinse everything in the bathtub inside the house afterwards. Not in the sink because I know some of you get kind of grossed out by people cleaning their shoes on the sink in the kitchen so I won't do that but to all their own all their own you know but for the sake of you viewers I will do that in my bathroom So oh, these smell pretty good because of the, the disinfectant I used on them. If not for the disinfectant, I would have probably been using the gloves right now. Actually, I should be using gloves still right now. These have been sitting around for a while, so hopefully I don't get some weird old fungus on my hands or nothing so I'm cleaning the bottom and all around the inside of here too with this saddle soap it shouldn't be hurt this leather because this is Red Wing leather saddle soap you don't even have to rinse this stuff out you just wipe it down it's good for the leather uh, I'll fan dry these after I uh, after I rinse them too. All right, so very good. As you can see, they do look a little cleaner and uh, lighter too. Where's that paint stain? Let's see. Get this out of there. Maybe the magic eraser. Let's see if this is good for anything. Oh, actually, it removed it. Look at that. Whew. And this, let's see if I could, if it will clean this. Ooh. So, you don't want to press too hard. You might damage the leather with this magic eraser, but it did take out the paint. Wow, let's see if it will clean this up too. It did. It cleaned up some of that paint on there. Let's see this 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 boot, this side. If there's any any stains that I want to remove, slight brushes. Let's see. No, but I just can't get that blue out of there. But it did take the paint out. It's pretty cool. All right, so I think that's pretty much it for the cleaning side. I'm going to go rinse these inside. I'm not going to videotape that. And um, yeah, we'll be back. I will uh, dry them. Nope, oh, there's some more paint up here. I'll go dry them for about a day with the fan with a small Vernado electric fan that should uh, do it. It's summertime here in Southern California. Should clean up in an hour actually, a couple hours. It should dry this all this up. But yeah, look, look at that, like new. And there's a little tearing in this leather right here. But, um, other than the sole, everything should look new once I'm done with these. All right, so here are the boots after the rinse. 
look pretty good nice soft leather beautiful leather here so I'll go ahead and um, I don't even think I'll fan dry these I'll just uh, let them hang tonight the tag the old tag from 1907 on the uppers from August 2009 so these shoes are 11 years old and still looked pretty good some cracking here on the leather um, hopefully the conditioner will um, fix those things up somewhat um, I know it won't do anything maybe for the leather I might have to super glue some of those cracks yep super glue some of them all right so uh, I'll let those dry Alrighty, so the 1907 are dry now. I used the fan. The leather is a little thicker, or I mean a little harder now from when they were washed. Um, I usually use this, the leather cream on um, my 1907s, my first 1907s. And um, this time I'm going to try these on this pair this is the all natural uh, leather conditioner um, so let's go ahead and uh, get these moisturized um, so the leather cream um, they like to use it on the 1907s and the rough and tough leather um, because it doesn't uh, darken the leather um, too much from the original look um, but I already have another a pair so I'll go with this um, I've never w washed my uh, other pair of 1907s since I've got them I just take uh, pretty good care of them um, and as, as you can see my shoe rack I have a, a good amount of shoes to, to choose from to wear um, so just apply this all over. Um, so for resoling, I don't know where I'm gonna send these. I have a couple pairs right now at a cobbler, uh, a local cobbler here uh, in or near Orange County and um, Orange County, California. Um, we'll see how that goes with uh, his work. Um, we also have, uh, the bootmaker, Brian the bootmaker in, at Roll Call, um, nearby in LA, downtown LA, um, that he does great work. If you could, if you've seen his, um, videos here on YouTube, um, you know, he does, uh, awesome, awesome work on souls. Um, but this is a simple, simple job. Maybe I'll go with the black the black um, soles on this I'm not too sure yet I, I really like the black the the cushion soles on my postman's maybe I'll go with those not sure yet or should I just uh, stay with these black you don't have to worry about the discoloration because it's black um, so you want to get it oiled up on the welts here too. On the let's try to get it deep in there. If my finger could fit in there. Um, so yeah, um, right. I have uh, my eight eight nineties right now and a pair of uh, Black Iron Rangers at the shoe shop uh, getting resold right now. So. Uh, We'll see how those go. And he's only charging um, 85 for the resoles. So I got a lot of brown mock toes right now. And let's do the other shoe. Because, uh, yeah, these really dried out. 
once they got dried. So these need a lot of conditioning. Maybe two rounds. Maybe uh, I'll use the leather cream on the second round of conditioning once this is dry. So, yeah. My wife has her Louis Vuitton purses and uh, I use the leather cream on that too to uh, to keep them nice and soft and avoid cracking on that. Um, what's it called works pretty good too, the Cadillac uh, lotion um, that they sell at Nordstrom's and that use doesn't discolor too much either this uh, rough and tough uh, brown leather and again this I don't really care if these get darker or whatnot probably in my next video I will have my other pair of uh, um, mocks in the 8890s that have the fresh soles and uh, you can compare them to these 1907s So there you go, um, I'll let these dry again, I think I put more on this boot than the other, oh man, some nooks in there still need to be oiled, especially since I washed it off with the saddle soap, I want everything oiled nice and good. And this, uh, the liner, the leather liner at the top, you want to oil. You don't want that stuff to crack either. Alright, so, let's see. Is this one good to go? I think, I think we're good on this one too. So, just a little more there. So we'll let this um, absorb in. Man, these nooks here. All right, so we'll let go ahead and let these uh, soak in, and we'll check them out again later. There you go. And uh, here's the. I wouldn't say this is the original. I think it was a little lighter um, when I bought these, the rough and tough, um, because um, the leather cream did uh, discolor these a little bit. This is what I like about these. They have that. If you stretch out the leather a little bit, it uh, changes colors. And as you can tell, I keep these really clean. I even clean the bottoms every once in a while on these. Uh, yeah, all right. So let's uh, dry these, dry the the conditioner on these, and check them out later. All right. So here we are with the boots. Um, Seems like the oil is still uh, soaking in. It's been a, a day. Or maybe this is it. But I don't think I'm going to add any more oil right now. Um, looks like they need a resole. And I saw right here that the stitching is um, gone right here as you can see it's got some lift right here in the back so um, yeah it's gonna need some work so I'm probably gonna have to send these out or maybe not right now um, we'll check out we'll see how the boots I got back the 8890s um, come back from um, 
the cobbler around here in Orange County, in Fullerton exactly, um, does on his. But the color on these is not bad. It's almost the same as my... Um, my rovers and as you can see I haven't welded these in a while actually so hopefully they'll uh, be the same color as the rovers or as my 1907s Love these bad boys. Stitching everything. See, look at all that double, triple stitching right there. So beautiful. And here is the the date code on my 1907s. Let me see. Let me get a clear pick of the tongue. 1116, so November 2016. And these are August 2009. So, looks like I will be needing some insoles, uh, leather insoles, and leather laces and um new soles still haven't decided which uh soles i'll go with maybe i'll go with the nitrile corks i wonder how these would look on 1907s hmm. or we'll go with the black cushions which are awesome So there you go, my uh, old pair of 1907s that I just cleaned. Um, they do need a work. They do need some work. Um, and hopefully, we'll be revisiting these soon. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I wish I could have done more in this video on these, but you know. I don't have the tools. No point in wearing them. These aren't going to really fit my foot very well either. Because of that the crazy wear on the back of the, the heels. These are not, look at that, barely worn. Barely anywhere on the back of these heels. And these are getting there. I, I love using the rovers for some reason. Um, some of my favorites. And my black um, Iron Rangers. Which are at the cobbler right now. Getting new soles. And we'll check those out in a upcoming video. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Um, please make sure to subscribe. Um, comment. If you guys know any good cobblers, um, even if I have to mail these out, or if you guys know any good cobblers here in Southern California, other than Red, red Wing Shoes, uh, comment below. Um, like, subscribe, set your alerts on. Let's uh, try to get me over that 1,000 uh, subscriber hump, guys. It'd be nice to make some uh, ad revenue on some of these videos. Alright, guys. See you guys next time. Bye.